Today, I have a package arriving, a very exciting package. But before it gets here, I have to make a very quick purchase. Okay, got what I need, and now we wait. So if the title of the video didn't give it away, my exciting package was an Oru kayak, which is a foldable kayak. This particular Oru kayak is the Bay ST, and as soon as I got it, I put it together. I wanted to put it together before I went out in public so I wouldn't make a fool of myself. And so I put it together in the house as a practice run, and then I almost immediately took it out to go see what I could do with it on the water. Here we are on the maiden voyage of the Oru kayak, and so far so good. I have not sunken yet. Ha! I did not expect it to, and it definitely hasn't, so we're good. We've paddled about less, a little less than a mile so far, and I mean, I don't have any negative things to say about it, honestly. It, it's fantastic. Now, in case you were wondering what model this is, because Oru makes several different models, this is the Bay ST, and this was their first kayak. This is actually the kayak that they launched their company on, so it's Tried and tested, uh, I can confirm, it, it's great. As I mentioned before, this is the Bay ST model, and Oru offers a couple different models, but I went with the Bay ST uh, mostly because of where I live. So I live on the coast, and because I live on the coast, I think we kind of get, the water can get uh, a little variation in it. You know, it's not always gonna be a calm lake. Um, you know, today it's pretty calm, but I don't know what it's always gonna be like. So I wanted something a little bit more rugged, and that was my number one concern when buying a foldable kayak is durability. I did not want to be out here worried about the kayak. I don't, I don't want to have to think about the fact that it is foldable. Um, and so the Bay ST is advertised for, it seemed like a little bit more rugged use. You know, it's advertised for choppy waters as compared to some of their other kayaks is advertised for smooth waters. Um, so I like that and I, I just kind of wanted the reassurance of a little bit stronger kayak. And I don't think any of their other kayaks are weak by any means, um, but this one in particular I think is good for what I'm gonna use it for. As far as the comfort of sitting in it, I think this is pretty comfortable. It's a little bit of a snug fit, but it's not awful. Um, definitely hugs you around the hips. And as far as your legs go, you definitely have leg room. So I think a taller person can definitely fit in here, but getting in and out of it, the actual opening of the cockpit's a little small, which is by design. There is a skirt, a spot where you can put a skirt on here. So the opening is supposed to be small, but if you're looking for an open, cockpit style kayak, uh, this isn't quite it. But I've definitely been in tighter ones, so I think it's a good balance. Now, the other thing I'll say about comfort is that I actually ended up getting the overnighter package that Oru offers. And one of the things that that package comes with is a gel seat as compared to their normal seat, which I think is just made out of foam. And comparing the two, it's a pretty big difference. The gel seat is way more comfortable. So I haven't even used the other seat, but uh, I can just tell that the gel seat would go, would go a long way in, in terms of comfort. So it's good stuff. Now, some of the other things that the overnighter package brings are the gel seat, which I already mentioned, uh, but it also comes with a paddle. So basically, as soon as you get the boat, you're ready to go in the water because it comes with a paddle. Um, and then it also comes with float bags that you can put on the front and the back of the boat on the inside. So that way, if you do take on water, the boat will still float. It won't sink to the bottom, which is kind of nice. Um, and the last thing that it brings is a bag which is basically a backpack. So once the boat is folded up, you can put it in the backpack. And then if you want to walk with it or hike with it somewhere a little more remote, or you just want a more comfy way to carry it, 
uh, you can just put it on the back with the backpack, so that's kind of nice. So those are all the things that come with the overnighter package, and uh, I think it was pretty good. I've, I've used, uh, I think so far, I've used all of the things except for the backpack today. So initial impressions from actually paddling and using it is that, I mean, it's it's good. It, it tracks straight, so it doesn't like spin me in any sort of direction, which compared to the inflatable kayak that I mentioned earlier is miles different. <laughs> this actually feels like a normal kayak. It just, it just paddles, it's good. Okay, let's talk real quick about the portability of this kayak, which is potentially its most attractive feature. Um, I live in an apartment for now, so I don't have a lot of room to store a full-size kayak, so this was the perfect solution for me. It was, it's something that I can just fold up, store in a closet when I need it to, and then get, do this when I want it to, to. Now, as far as fitting in a car, it fit in my cross trek with no problem. I could, I could probably fit it back there by leaving the seats up. Um, it's a little bit of a squeeze but it can definitely do it. Um, folding down the seats obviously gives you way more room. With the seats folded down, there's plenty of room for this thing. You got room here still. Throw some extra stuff and you got plenty of room in front of this, in front of it too. It'll fit with the seats still up, but it's a little bit of a tight squeeze. Either way, it is as advertised, very portable. Now the other thing about portability with this thing is that it's super light, which is kind of nice. Compared to a normal kayak, I think it makes a big difference. This kayak weighs about 30-ish pounds, and it's kind of a weird feeling because you see this thing in front of you, which clearly is a kayak, but when you lift it up, it is way lighter than any kayak that I've ever lifted. So that's kind of cool. Um, definitely makes it nice to carry and bring up to close to the water. So I like that. So how is it to put together? Is it fast to deploy? Um, I would say yes. So I think the answer is yes if you practice a little bit. So when I first got it, I, I opened it up and I basically immediately put it together because I wanted to practice it before I got out here to go put it together, which I think is smart because it was, it just took us a little longer the first time I did it. But the second time around, I didn't even need to watch the video or do anything. I just knew how to put it together. So uh, it's pretty easy to put together, I would say. So something that I saw when I was doing some research on this kayak is that it has a little bit of a learning curve. And I didn't know what that quite meant, but apparently, especially for newer kayakers, um, this boat can take some getting used to. And I've kayaked some in the past, but I wasn't quite sure what that meant. So I think in the past I've ridden some wider boats and this one's a little bit more slender, a little more narrow. Um, so especially at the beginning, I kind of felt like if I shifted my body weight too much, I, would, I felt a little off balance. Um, so I think that's what that meant, and, but, as they said, within one kayak, or within one paddling session, you should pretty much be used to it, and I think that's the case. I've pretty much figured out where the balancing point is, so I don't feel off balance, I feel, feel good. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video of the maiden voyage of this Oru kayak. Again, this is, this is the maiden voyage. This is the first time I've been out with it on the water, so this is just my initial thoughts and impressions. Um, I will. I plan to make a full review video once I've had a chance to use it some more and um, I'll be making several other videos of some of the stuff that I do with it. So definitely looking forward to it. I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching.